a votary of truth. Dr. S. Ramaswamy was born on 27th March 1932 and he studied BA Honours and MA in English Literature between 1950 to 1954 at Maharaja College, Mysore. He graduated in 1954 with a first rank and later did MA course in California University in 1966. He has taken a PhD degree on the theme of frustration in Tennessee Williams from Bangalore University in 1973. He has written several books on criticism, travelogue and translated novels from Canada into English. He has won many prestigious awards including Pi Beta Kappa Award of Southern California University in 1965-66. He is also a fellow of Silliman College, Yale University, and he has received Karnataka State Sahitya Academy Award in 1994. Hello, my name is Ramaswamy. Last week, I turned 85 and time is a funny thing, it plays tricks and you find that sometimes of course what happened a long time ago, you don't remember, but what happened in recent past, you do not. The passage of time is relative, the interval between life and death, the long eternal sleep, the balm of hurt minds. Now memory again takes you back to half a century very easily in my mind. I was a student in Maharaja's college in 1953-54, you see, they say Arote Karumarlu and in fact I remember go back 60 years just like that and remember Maharaja's College and the Maharaja's College Hostel where I stayed and you find that the tennis court in front of the college and the professors used to play tennis there in the evenings. And I remember some of the teachers, of course, who played tennis in a, just in order to entertain us, like Yem Pachu, we used to call him, Yemen Parthasarathi. He had a wonderful sense of humor. And he would say, Bandraho, Nan Pancha would come tennis out of Noruk Bandraho. And he would wear a big, huge, white belt over his tucked up dhoti and would be running about the field, health and skelter. Playing is the important thing, not scoring. So physical goodness, fitness is one thing, but mental boredom is another. One of the greatest human problems is perhaps the question of boredom. When you have achieved all that you wanted to achieve, or even a part of that which you wanted to achieve, what is left and you find is that there is a certain vacancy that is why Shankaracharya asks the question Tata Kim Tata Kim Tata Kim Tata Kim you have done this good you have become famous good yes you have done all this now what Tata Kim 
and this problem of boredom therefore cultivated combated perhaps in a way in which people should cultivate themselves when they are still young when they are still old of certain reading habits for example and as long as uh, his physical fitness i say it you know sans ice sans ice sans teeth sans everything as shakespeare's seven ages of man would say and you find that we also talk about our shad bhava vikharas so this was there is jayate asti vardate ap ap apakshate nashati so this corresponding ages of man and you find it now how to spend this the remaining part of life is now some people who died young like kids and silly people of unfulfilled desire people like chatterton and people like robert brook brook gave his life to his country as a young soldier and in uh, grantchester where he was born he died in germany it was my good fortune to study shakespeare here in central college with a great professor professor a n murthy rao and you find that professor murthy rao belonged to that generation of teachers who were dedicated now whom some of whom i met in maharaj's college among them professor shrikant shastri a very great scholar indeed and it is very rare to meet people to be able to see them hear them listen to them read them think about what they have written and you find that it was my good fortune to listen to people like professor dr shrikant shastri and m v krishna rao another person who was in maharaj's college we used to meet in junior b hall is it and there you see public lectures were held by anybody who was visiting maharaj's college was invited to speak give general lectures there and what wonderful speakers in fact we heard in maharaj's college in during my one calendar year i spent there because at that time ma was one calendar year 12 months and then you find that for the ma we have to read one special author on one century naturally the century had to be different from the author and so it was very sad for us special author who was taught by professor sv ramana another great english professor and then our specialty was 20th century professor sidney samaya who i just written from cambridge introduced the cambridge syllabus for us in maharaj college probably for the first time anywhere in india and we are proud that we could read the 20th century criticism poetry drama prose everything in two complete papers so it was a wonderful time i had in maharaj college and i feel nostalgia that if only you could turn back the clock i would like to be 25 again thank you conclusion dr s shrikant shastri lived through an interesting epoch of indian history 1904 to 1974 the historian dr s shrikant shastri was also a bit player in the historical drama of his period he grew up in the princely state of mysore which was the then part of the british raj He was son of a civil servant who aspired at one time to become a bureaucrat but ended up as a historian. He chronicled ancient Indian history, later contemporary Indian and world history. He was a witness to first 
and Second World Wars and did partake in India's struggle for independence. Many controversies and disagreements dogged him throughout his life. The physical infirmities like poor eyesight, deafness, paralytic stroke and heart attacks did not suppress his indomitable spirit. As a polyglot, he mastered several languages, which aided him in his research work. The benign political environment of princely state of Mysore under the reign of Nalwadi Krishnaraja Wadiyar encouraged the native genius to blossom forth. The intellectually and spiritually invigorating and illumining experience of growing up in a European cultural atmosphere of new ideas and thoughts of the British Raj shaped and moulded him. Dr. S. Srikanta Shastri was also a child of Indian Reformation and Renaissance which began in 19th century Bengal. The Indian freedom struggle was led by Mahatma Gandhi. The independence movement was guided by Gandhian ideals which invoked pride, self-respect and confidence in one's own roots of Indian culture and civilization. But alas, what followed in the aftermath of Indian independence resulted in decline and decay of Indian society. Eminent men and women of Dr. S. Shrikanta Shastri's generation experienced disillusionment and disappointment at the turn of events within 25 years of India achieving independence. The physical, mental and spiritual corruption and moral bankruptcy which prevailed all over the country was depressing, debilitating and demoralizing. This is a valuable lesson of history for future generations of Indians to come. Professor S. Naganath